Hey, this is Liam from Tinnitus Treatment, and if you're watching this video now, it's probably because you want some sort of audio track to help you with tinnitus, tinnitus sleep, obviously is the name of the video, but this give me two minutes because before you try and listen to that, that's fine, listen to rain, background, whatever, low, white noise is fine, but you really need to know this if you want to ever avoid using that in your life. If you want to keep doing that for the rest of your life, click up this video, it's fine. If you want some actionable steps to actually fix your tinnitus so you can sleep in silence, I recommend you watch this video, okay, because it's about tinnitus sleep. Okay, so let's get into some habits and some things and the way your body works and the way your body's, your body's circadian rhythm works, your body clock, that you can actually understand, hijack, and use to help you not only get a better night's sleep, but get rid of your tinnitus, because that's really the goal here, okay? I'm just going to bring this microphone a little bit closer to me so that you can I can make sure you can hear what I'm saying, okay? So... First thing is we have not one body clock, but we have multiple body clocks, okay? So the first body clock that we have is actually located in our eyes, and that's the most important, okay? And that's what takes the light in, and it senses the darkness and the lightness of your surrounding area, okay? And it's actually made up of cells in the back of your eyes, and this is a mouthful, but they're called the photosensitive retinal ganglion cells, okay? And it's clusters of them in the back of both your eyes, and it feeds information to your brain, and then it tells the rest of your body what to do. Things like uh, digestive function, uh, things like hormones, things like cortisol, all that sort of stuff. Now, notice I said cortisol then, because what is cortisol? Cortisol is a hormone secreted from your adrenal glands, which is highly tied in with the sympathetic nervous system. What's the sympathetic nervous system? The fight or flight mechanism. Now you're listening, right? So here's the thing. There are many things that will affect your sleeping pattern and really make it hard for you to get over tinnitus because your body is constantly secreting cortisol, which is the sympathetic nervous system. Let me give you a little tip right now. If you want to... Um, manually try and override that system, cut out coffee, stuff like that, and also to attack it more, start ingesting and digesting and eating more leafy greens. That's potassium, and potassium helps um, the parasympathetic nervous system kick in, and it will knock back the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is bad, parasympathetic nervous system is good. But let's talk about sleep, okay? I've got a computer, I've got a phone, I live in a part of Bali where there's street lights. If my blinds aren't completely shut, I have street lights uh, come in through the blinds. That's very fucking bad. When it comes to tinnitus, that's very, very bad, okay? And I swear to prove a point, and I swear because I like swearing, it feels good. I'm Australian, but even if I wasn't, it feels good. Anyway, so, now let me tell you one thing. There was a test conducted by a university, and they put a man in total darkness for I think it was two weeks or something to see what would happen to his body clock and it kept going. He slept uh, eight, nine hours a night and he was awake for the rest. So it's internal. But the problem is when you get intermittent light and darkness throughout the day, you go and see a movie, you sit in somewhat darkness, you're up at night, maybe it's one in the morning, you're still on your phone, stuff like that. You're doing serious damage. Not permanent, but you're causing a lot of problems internally, especially if you're up at 3 a.m. trying to search how to fix tinnitus online. You're actually making it worse. Like, if, or, I mean, if you found my channel, you've you done a lot of good, but you're making it worse simply by the fact that you're feeding that incorrect information into your brain, which is causing, guess what, the sympathetic nervous system to spike and feed you cortisol, which is designed to keep you awake because your body thinks, oh, it's daytime? Okay, let's... Because your, your body is not some artificial intelligence thing. It doesn't have a consciousness. Your body is just a machine which is designed to take inputs and do specific things with it. You have to feed it the right information. But people think it's all about food. It's about sleep and light as well. Is it starting to make sense? And this is why I tell people, I tell you guys all this stuff. I say, go to bed at 8 p.m., 10 p.m., and get up at 6 p.m. As soon as it's dark outside, you go to bed. As soon as it's light outside, you get up. The results you see will be ridiculous. Okay? Ridiculous. And I know it's hard because you're laying in bed and you can hear it. I won't do it, but the ringing noise, because I have the same thing too. All this stuff has a reason behind it and it's connected to hormones. Remember, never forget, you can get rid of tinnitus. And if you have tinnitus, there's a chemical culprit. There's always a chemical culprit. Let me explain. Obviously, if you got it from noise trauma, you think, well, Liam, I got it from noise trauma, so there's not a chemical culprit behind it. I got it from noise trauma too. Let me explain. If you watch my last video to really understand this, but it doesn't matter how you got tinnitus. Food can cause food, sorry, food, nutrition, diet, antibiotics is not always what causes tinnitus. You can have nerve damage from an injury, you can have it from stress, but food, nutrition, diet is always, always what is going to prevent you from getting better. Okay? 
always is what's going to prevent you from getting better because your body needs the right substance to heal. Your body needs to sleep properly. If you're not getting eight to nine hours of sleep a night, I don't care how old you are. That's a fucking problem. People think, oh, well, you know, people think as you get older, you need less sleep. That's not how it works. You've ruined your body. It's as simple as that. When you get older, you fu- if you're living like that, you've fucked your body. If you have tinnitus and you're uh, sleeping about five hours a night, you think that's okay, you've got a serious problem. And if your doctor says it's okay, well, guess how many times uh, a doctor has told me that my tinnitus was for life back in the day and told people that I've helped that their tinnitus was for life. And guess what? It's not. What a fucking shock, okay? So this is about tinnitus and sleep. I'll keep it simple for you. Get a blue screen for your phone. Get a blue, sc- a literal blue screen for your computer or just put the, get, get um, Flux. I think it's FL u.x or fl.ux that's really good crank it to the top one but that doesn't mean you can watch it at all at night time doesn't matter what color the light is okay people make that mistake this is for throughout the day okay at night time it's off that's it you can't even read a book you can't even read a book by candlelight candlelight bedtime okay it's as simple as that bedtime when it starts getting light get up this is hard for people to do because they think that, you know, their life, they've got, they got to do work or handle this. What kind of a life is a life with tinnitus? What kind of a life is that? I mean, is it worth doing that? It, maybe it's worth just forcing yourself to go to bed for a little while. I would advise at 6 p.m. when you get home, read a book by light. That's probably the, li- or if you have this light outside, still read a book, um, not on a Kindle, on an actual book, and then go to bed after that, Okay. That's what I would do, and that's what I did, and it helps a lot. This is a really good way to get results quickly with tinnitus as well that people don't understand. Cut out coffee because that's going to make that hard. If you if you say, oh, I can't get to bed at that time, get up early. Get up earlier and quit coffee. Those are the two main things that's going to make this easy, okay? Once again, this is Liam. Uh, this is about tinnitus sleep, and guys, if you want a, a full guide, okay, we're just going to give you the beginner's steps. I recommend clicking below and go to liamstopsonitis.com. i got a completely free guide for you. I think it's still free. You have to check on the website, make sure it's still free. Um, Go and download it now. Talk soon.